Come here. Come on. <clears throat> Come here. 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 So next after I buried Georgie guys, so we're out here just visiting. I've got a few things I've got planned today, so some nice videos. Um, one on my meteorites, I'm going to show you guys a new meteorite, what I found probably oh, last year at a very special spot. And two meteorites what I found in a location what you'd be absolutely amazed in the previous video. The round meteorite and the beautiful 460 gram meteorite anyway guys um, yesterday when I buried Georgie the final thing I put in Georgie's little um, little uh, toilet tin what I put her in it's a beautiful um, <clears throat> it might have looked a bit tacky guys but to me it's very special and as you saw I covered you know filled up with beautiful relics and bottles and you know stuff what we found together when we metal detecting and bottle hunting out here at the Dumbayong rubbish dump. As I said in the comments, guys, this dump um, doesn't get used anymore. It probably hasn't been used for about, oh, since about 1960. <coughs> so it's a beautiful, special spot. You know, it overlooks Lake Dumbayong. You can just see Lake Dumbayong on a beautiful, hot summer's day. During summer, we get beautiful thunderstorms rolling through and beautiful sunsets, you know, beautiful views of the farms. I've, right now I can see all the yellow from the canola crops. So they're just starting to flower. The canola is used to make canola oil for cooking and so forth. And I can see, <coughs> and I can see Pussycat Hill, which is about probably 15 kilometers away. It's a, probably the highest hill in this area. It overlooks Lake Dombuyong. It's just a beautiful spot, guys. Like right now, you wouldn't be able to hear it because of the foam, but this casuarina tree where I buried Georgie, it just makes the most beautiful howling noise, a very haunting noise. And I've done videos on the casuarina tree before of this exact casuarina tree using my special <coughs> little tape recorder. I've got a nice little Sony. Um, recorder what I bought last year or earlier this year it's a proper one I think it cost me about 200 Australian dollars I'll take a photo of it and so this is what I use now to record bird sounds sounds of nature the beautiful casuarina tree um, it's like I say guys you know it's the, the noise it makes is just so haunting you know it's like it's kind of like a hurricane wind or a cyclone wind type noise you can just hear that howling noise as a wind goes through the little tiny um, thin stick like leaves of the casuarina tree and it's just so beautiful you know you can just lie underneath the tree and drift off to sleep or meditate or just think contemplate and it's just so relaxing like I say guys the last, very last thing I put into Georgie's little box um, yesterday and you didn't see it um, I'm hoping you've got video footage of it, but I'm not too sure my camera was actually turned on. But I, I love the um, brand called RM Williams. It's very expensive, guys, and you know, like when I can afford it, I'll, you know, buy some nice RM Williams shirts and beautiful Akubra hats or RM Williams hats. Yeah, Akubra and jeans, and probably the best thing that I always use. And 
like I say, Georgie and I and Banjo and Cindy have walked at least a thousand miles in my old R.M. Williams boot. So yesterday I put in my R.M. Williams boots on top of Georgie's little tin. And last week I ordered some um, new pairs of R.M. Williams boots. So today, the day after Georgie's little funeral, the boots arrived. So what I've got here is a nice pair of R.M. Williams, um, I think, two nice pairs of R.M. Williams boots and a nice pair of hiking boots. Very expensive guys, I think, oh, not really, I think I paid $165 for each pair of boots, so it's pretty cheap and they'll last a long time. And the good thing about R.M. Williams is if you do buy boots off them, they, you can actually send those boots back and get the, the heels repaired and they'll put on a new, totally new, um, lower sole or heel on the boots and if you've got any problems they'll repair them so what i'm wearing right now guys these are actually rm williams too i've had these for a couple of years and these are rm williams ugg boots so anyway what we're going to do now is open up these boots and i'll show you guys and we'll take some photos and i highly recommend even you guys in america uk europe you can order these boots um online <laughs> They're beautiful boots, guys, made out of um, Australian cattle, leather, and much more. So I'll open these boots up now, guys, and can't wait. Let me just see behind me. Sophie's been having a bowl. So I'm out the dump, guys. Just found a piece of glass. We'll open this up. Can't wait to put them on. And like I say, those my old boots are with Georgie now. Beautiful. So these are exactly the same as the last pair of boots I had, guys. And these are perfect for walking out bush. You know, the reason I like these boots is because they're high, they um, protect you from possible snake bites, and they're just a beautiful leather and very fashionable boot. They look, you know, really nice. If you go out, you know, to a, a, a pub or a nightclub or out to dinner with your girlfriend or whatever so these ones here are called R.M. Williams Stockyard so that's awesome we'll get those out and there they are beautiful guys so they should last me probably a couple of years hopefully <clears throat> and like I say if I have any problems I can send the boot back and they'll re-sole or replace this whole black section of the sole of the bottom of the boot and if you've got any and they'll re-stitch it you, you do have to pay for it but it's definitely worth it i think it costs about probably 70 dollars so we'll take those out and we'll open up this one and i think in here there's definitely a hiking pair of hiking boots but i can't remember i'm pretty sure i ordered another pair of these but a different color just for going out so one's going to be for working scrapping bushwalking hiking and the other one's going to be for going out to special occasions. Going out with a girl if I ever get a girlfriend. Yep, beautiful. Look at that, guys. Oh, that is beautiful. Same brand or same... Um, Aaron Williams stockyard boots but look at that beautiful colour guys these are called a chestnut boot or the chestnut Aaron Williams chestnut and I forget what these ones are called I'll let you know so they're beautiful guys even for like if you're a bikey or a biker you like riding motorbikes perfect safety boots they're not steel capped but they're still very very strong boots and if you look after these boots guys they'd last a lifetime so these ones will last me quite a few years and these are my beautiful I've never had these ones before guys but I'm going prospecting in another month or so gold prospecting with a mate so these will be awesome for going gold prospecting out Kalgoorlie and plus I'll take these too but these will be Absolutely beautiful hiking boots, guys. Leather, waterproof, really nice heel. So that's it, guys. 
really appreciate you watching. We'll put on these new boots, maybe not now, we'll chuck them on tomorrow. Take some photos, and they'll be my new work boots, nice boots for going out, and hiking boots, bushwalking and so forth. So like I say guys, I highly recommend R.A. Williams, it's probably one of the best brands in Australia. It can be quite expensive, but I guarantee you guys, they'll last a lifetime if you look after them. And they're just one of the best brands in Australia. Thanks guys. Let's take off for another adventure. Come on, let's go. In the truck. Good girl, come on. Beautiful. Nice boots, Benjo.